Josh. Well, hey, Claire. Hey, you know how we're always looking for new ideas for this week's WOW? You have one? Yes. Lay it on me. Let's do an episode about the water clock. Claire, uh, before you started here, um, Mookie and I actually did one on the water clock, so we are, already kind of know how it works. You should check it out. It's pretty cool. You and Mookie? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have a good day. No, thanks. Oh, uh, Claire? Yeah. You know something that Mookie and I didn't talk about? What? The secrets of the water clock. There are secrets? There are secrets. Like, what's in that box right there? There's a tube going underneath the floor. What's that for? Well, what about that tube? That goes in the floor too. That's a cool tube too. You want to go check it out? Duh! Follow me downstairs. Okay. So that's where it comes down through the floor. Yeah, you see it? Yeah. Yeah, it goes into uh, that that pipe right uh -huh, there. And then and that one, and then. There's a lot of pipes here. How do you keep track? You know, it's not my job, but it is Steve Call's job. Who's Steve? Steve's in charge of the whole secrets of the water clock. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, there he is now. Ooh. Looks like he's doing some work on the clock. What's he getting? Well, th that's the methyl alcohol he keeps in that storage container there. Well, if it's a water clock, why do you need methyl alcohol? That's a very good question. You see, uh, the, the, it's not just water in the water clock. There's actually three ingredients. So there is water. Okay. But there's also methyl alcohol in there. They mix it 50-50. Okay. Because if there was just water in there, what would happen is they put the alcohol in there to kill all the algae. So nothing grows in there. It'd get really gunky. It would be like a fish out. tank. It'd be like you'd get gunky. You had to clean it every once in a while. But okay. You have alcohol in there. But can you guess what the third ingredient is? Uh, something that makes it blue. That's right. Water is not blue, right? No. It's clear. Yeah. And so they had to add blue dye so you can see the rise and fall of the water. It's easy. a really tiny bottle of dye. I know. All it takes is just one drop to oh, look, fill up 70 gallons of liquid. 70 gallons? 70 gallons. One drop of dye. Wow. Oh, he's mixing it right now. Yeah. There he goes. Oh. Pretty blue, cool. isn't it? And then that pipe goes all the way back up, and it goes up. Yeah. Now here's something. Go? Here's another secret, there, Claire. Yeah. You know, uh, there's 70 gallons of liquid in the clock. Uh huh. But during, especially during the summer months, 20 gallons of liquid evaporate during a month. The sun was shining on the water clock. It was, upstairs. wasn't it? Yeah. So it evaporates. So they have to raise and lower the levels every once in a while. Well, how do they do that? Well, there's sensors at the uh, six-hour mark and at the 30-minute mark that are able to tell whether it's on level or not. And it fills it or lowers it based on whether it's high or low. Wait, is that what that little box is for upstairs? That's the computer. It's actually hooked up to a, a little clock in there. Yeah. It's able to tell if it's off or on. It adds it or lowers it. There is so much cool stuff I never knew. The secrets of the water clock. Woo, I feel so uh, in the know. I know, I know. <laughs> Just think, Josh, all of those secrets lie right under the floor. I know. Hey, remember, Claire, don't tell anyone the secrets of the water clock. Got it. Wait. Hmm? No, this is this week's WOW. It's a, an internet video. Everyone can watch it. The internet? Yeah. <gasps> Hope we don't get in trouble. Well, it's kind of too late now. That's true. See you next time on this week's WOW. Mm -hmm.